Hi everyone, this is going to be a short video in which I derive a useful identity that relates factorials to double factorials. Now, if you haven't encountered a double factorial before, basically what it is is you know how uh, ordinary factorials are when you start with a number and you multiply it by every single integer um, from what you started with down to one, right? So double factorials are kind of like that, except um, when you do the multiplication, you step down by two every time, right? So for example, um, six factorial would be six times five times four times three times two times one, whereas six double factorial would be six times four times two, because you step down in step steps of two. Okay, so let's go about deriving this identity, which is for any natural number k, 2k double factorial is 2 to the power of k times k factorial. Okay. In other words, if we're taking the double factorial of an even integer, um, then we can relate that to the factorial of half of that integer. So you can look at it either way. Right, so let's start with our left-hand side, 2k double factorial. Well, from the definition that I just gave you of the double factorial, um, you start with um, 2k, right? That's what you're taking the double factorial of. Then you multiply it by that thing minus 2. And you keep going, stepping down by 2 every time. So the next term is going to be 2k minus 4. And because 2k is an even number, because it has a factor of 2, you're going to end up at 2 as your last term, right? Okay. And also notice that well, how many terms do we have in total in this multiply multiplication? We've got k terms, right? Because we started with 2k, and we're stepping all the way down to 2, but we're taking steps of size 2, right? So it takes k steps to go from 2k down to 2. Right? So we've got k mu numbers multiplied together. So what we can do is notice that all of these terms have a common factor of 2, right? So if we factorize out a factor of 2 from each of these terms, our first term is just, well, 2 times k. All right, then the next term is 2 times k minus 1, then the next term is 2 times k minus 2, and so on, all the way until you get to the last term, uh, which is just, well, 2 times 1, all right? But then, remember that there are k terms, and we just factorized out a 2 from each of those k terms. So what we've got is a factor of 2 to the power of k from all of these um, 2s, combined together, all right? So let me just get rid of those arrows, we don't need those. And what we're left is when we factorize out that two to the k is just k times k minus one times k minus two, all the way down to one, right? Which is um, two to the power of k times k factorial. Okay, so there we go, we've derived our result, 2 to the k, sorry, 2k double factorial is 2 to the power of k times k factorial.